Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and it's a sit down video, a very well overdue sit down video. And today I'm joined with man for himself, literally Robin James. Hello. Uh, Robin came down today to actually record a podcast with Lydia. So I stole him from the room and we've come and filmed a video yeah. on Robin's channel, which uh, I will be leaving down in the description it's box. It's a goodie. Below. It is. It is a goodie. We talk about five of my grooming essentials. So mm. definite one to go after. You've watched this video, make sure you head over there. But today, I was sitting here and I said, we need to do something for my channel because Robin is an expert in grooming. And I know that we have a mixture of guys and girls watching here today. So I thought it would be a nice way to talk about five sort of essential spring products that we can mm. use in our grooming and whether it's for you guys watching or for a gift for him. I know that mm. in a couple of months we have Father's Day yeah. and uh, just in general, right? Birthdays I think we were saying like, lot. you know, for loads of women who are trying to get a, a guy or your dad, your boyfriend, your husband into sort of looking and feeling better, then this is like, these products are definitely where to start. Yeah, and I think we've got a nice range here. So the first sort of set of products that we spoke about was face scrubs. I think like new season, spring, fresh life, fresh lambs outside. It's kind <laughs> of like you want to get your skin set and ready. With winter months, I mean, we were saying before, winter months, you really are sort of looking after your skin even more, I would say, because yeah. you know, it's, it dries out, it gets cracked. I wouldn't use scrubs as much in the winter, right? but into spring, I love a good face scrub. Perfect time to use this, maybe like twice a week, I would say. Okay. Like not too much because you are taking off a sort of layer of skin, but also perfect just before shaving. So it kind of preps the skin, it gets the hair lifted up and it gives it all clean. Also, it will make sure that razors last longer because it's gonna give you um, a cleaner shave. Interesting. Two here, which are from your collection, yeah. are sort of lower end, which is Bulldog. Yes. Um, I think Bulldog's a really great brand in that the products actually do a really great job. I was always put off by it being really like bulldog, really- Aggressive almost. Aggressive and really yeah. like a bit laddie in a bad way. Yes. But the products really do deliver. Yeah. Then other end, sort of more premium, is Clinique. And I know that you use a lot of Clinique products. Love, love Clinique, yeah. This one is just really very good. Also their whole sort of skincare range is great for guys. Yes, very reputable. So I guess fundamentally the sole purpose of using scrubs is to make sure that you've got a nice clean base to work from. Yeah, freshen the skin, get it ready, take off all the old skin and just allow the sort of skin to breathe. Amazing. So our next set of products follow on nicely from the scrubs. We've got moisturizers, but not just any moisturizer. These moisturizers have SPF. Mm. Now, as you guys will know, and yeah. Robin, the sun has a huge impact on our skin. Mm. And even when the sun's not shining, it's still affecting it's the our UV. skin yeah. completely. So we've got two moisturizers here today. Again, we have a Bulldog product, and then we have one of my favorites, which is Lab Series. Mm. Now, this particular product is a new launch. Literally just out. Yeah, yeah. like yesterday, I think we yeah, said, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Lab Series do an incredible mm. range of products, so I have no doubts it's gonna be a fantastic product in itself. The two products here today, one has a SPF of 15, and then the Lab Series has an SPF of 35. Mm. I think that if you're choosing a moisturizer that mm. has an SPF in it, you're taking one step in the right direction. Absolutely, like ev everything, I mean, it's very easy to say, you should always use an SPF, but you, act you actually should. It's, yeah. it's the sun, it's the UV rays, which are, uh, and pollution really, that is damaging your skin and it's what's aging you. So yeah. that it's preventative rather than a cure. Yeah, I mean, this kind of hits both, right? It keeps you Absolutely. hydrated, yeah. blemished, as well as protected. Yeah, and so I would say like for, the, the base, the basic of any sort of grooming routine should be a moisturizer. And I know like my dad is in his 60s, he doesn't do anything. No and way. I'm always like, please, please, please use a moisturizer, yeah. In to totally, I'd yeah. say that this is, this is a fundamental mm. male grooming product. Totally. So I think that if you, if you know somebody or you're not yourself using a mm. face moisturizer, Seriously, mm. check yourself because mm. this is a, this is a must. And men's and men's skin is different from women's skin. Like if if you're thinking, actually, yeah, my boyfriend at home is just using all my own stuff. I mean, yeah. get him his own stuff. It means he's not using your nice expensive yeah. products, <laughs> and he can also you know try out something which is really sort of made for men. Exactly. Moving very swiftly and smoothly on from the moisturizers, and it's into another sort of target area, and that is under eye. We actually spoke about this in my video and yeah. Ali actually picked out one of his five fundamentals really, which is 
the keels. I mean, you yeah. can definitely talk about this one. We've both used it, but you love it because... This particular product, it's got the nice creamy texture mm. that I look for in an eye cream, and it just lasts mm. for absolutely ages. I told a story on Robin's channel about this eye cream, which is quite funny actually, but I'll let you watch that over there. But eye creams for me are a product that I've only been using possibly for like the last year or two, mm. so they're new into my routine, mm -hmm. but I literally, I just wouldn't look mm. back. I think they're so fundamental and they come in so many different types and styles. So here we have a roller. Yeah, and this is more like a gel, so yep. it's, it's a lot sort of lighter than the cream-based one. Yes. But we were also saying before how you might be thinking, okay, I'm already using a moisturizer or he's already using a moisturizer. Why would you need a, an, an eye cream? That's because the area around your eyes is the most sensitive and it's also the thinnest skin. So yeah. you really want something which is hydrating that area and also kind of protecting it. Yeah. And these are, are two products which are great. I love Kiehl's products. Yeah. If, if you're trying to get into skincare or you want the guy in your life to get into skincare, then Kiehl's is great. And again, another sort of staple yeah. is Clinique. Yeah, totally. I think that we're talking about a delicate area on the mm. face and I think that this is possibly the first sign of aging, of aging around yeah. the eyes because mm -hmm. we're, it's, it's where our expressions are almost shown the most. Yeah, so again, it's so important to make sure that you're looking after this part of yeah. your face. And I think that you've got the moisturizer, mm. you've got the eye cream, you've covered, I'd say the most important yeah, aspect. The most important part of your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all of your face. Yeah, all of your but face. Of, when it comes to male grooming mm. products for your face, there is a huge range. There's a massive range. And we could go on for, yeah. for ages, and, right? And eye creams have become, for guys, have become so topical, like really in this last year, yeah. and more of coming out, there's ones by L'Oreal, yeah. Blue Dog have also got them, more sort of niche brands, um, and a lot of them also include caffeine, so it means it's yes. going gonna, gonna to plump the skin yeah. if you are hanging, uh, <laughs> or you've just had a really hard day, you've got new kids or whatever, and you just like haven't had enough sleep. Yeah, perfect. This is the go-to. Next up, Okay. We have fragrances. Now, you guys will know that I'm a big fan and big lover of fragrances. You've got a lot of fragrances. I Love haven't you. seen basically as many fragrances <laughs> as I've just seen. No, this isn't all. Yeah, this isn't all. That's an impressive stat. You're going to have to do a video at some point of going through all your fragrances. I know, I should. I should do a fragrance collection. Yeah. Although the video might be about an hour long. Quite boring. Be but. more like one of Lydia's videos then. We'll <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey babe. <laughs> yeah, spring summer fragrances. I mentioned this in Robin's video. Mm. I am a big believer that fragrances can definitely be topical. They're, is that the right word? Topical? Like, yeah, okay. Or like seasonal. occasional lives, seasonal, yeah. yeah. And I think that having a spring fragrance, you really need to go for those citrusy, fruity and quite punchy mm. fragrances. They're quite light and airy. And they just kind of like, follow through with that mood yeah. that most it's like of us a can transition, be isn't it? Yeah. Totally. So you've gone from the autumn-y... Like oody, and, yeah, woody, exactly. bassy, very musky, yeah. musky. And masculine. And Anything with an E on the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we go into the... Citrus. Light, bright, citrus, florals, whatever it yeah, might be. Yeah, exactly. So today I've got two of my go-tos. Uh, we've got Gentleman Only by Givenchy, mm. and then we've also got Boss, Boss Tonic. Tonic. Mm. And I don't know whether this is sort of like a trend, but I do find a lot of spring fragrances tend to be in blue bottles. Yeah. Not always, sometimes greens, but it's something to keep an eye it's out like for. It's like light and bright, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And another little tip, actually, if you're looking for a fragrance for the spring, if you look at the sport editions on most fragrances, you, you do find that they That's actually, are, yeah, they're, yeah, they're quite welcome into the spring mm. seasons. I would say also with fragrance, if you are looking to buy a new fragrance, go in and get a tester. Yes. Go in, get a tester, get him or you to wear it for you know a couple of days. And one of the most important things is fragrances go in notes. Yes. So you've got the top note, the heart, and the base. And what you're left with once that sort of dries down, the dry down on the skin is, yeah. is the base really. Yeah. That's what's gonna be left. So you might have that instant hit of exactly. something really punchy or spicy, but what's left might be something completely different. different. So yeah. try it. And also, when you are going in to sample those, don't just lash yourself with loads of different, mm. you know, you've got four fragrances you can try out. Mm. Separate them, different spaces on the arm, write it down where mm -hmm. you've applied yeah. those. <laughs> you know, you, we've all done it, we've gone in there, yeah. we've gone, oh, I can't that? remember yeah. which one that was, but it smells amazing. Fragrances are definitely essential, in my opinion, and they make such great gifts as well. I mean, Agreed. we mentioned gifts at the start of the video, yeah. And uh, I don't think people can take offense to no. being bought a fragrance. It's also the best way to get someone in your life to smell the way you, you 
you want, want them. Yeah, so totally. If you yeah. find, this is a bit of a sneaky one, but if you find your fragrance <laughs> that's like, yeah, I love that, then yeah. then do that. And if they're wearing a fragrance that you hate, it's a nice subtle way of shifting get that, that one out. Get that one out, yeah, yeah, get yeah. the new one in. Exactly. Lastly, but not least, we have lip balms. Lip care. Yes. So, I have to give you the, yeah, so lovely. I'll hold that one for yeah. you. We spoke about this yep. in that it's it's such a basic, but again, you don't really sort of talk about it so much. And it is no. lip balms, lip care. It's I was going to say it's the least sexy of all the products, but actually, yeah. it's it's the most sort of intimate in a sense True. because your lips yeah. should be moisturized, plump. It's one of the first things I would really say when you're talking to someone. You quite often, yes. especially an attraction thing, your eyes will dip down to their lips when you're talking to them, yeah. and if they're dry and crusty. It's not a vibe. It's a turn off. It's a and you don't want to be kissing off. those lips. No, you don't want them anywhere <laughs> on you. No, no, no. <laughs> like sandpaper lips. Yeah. But it's something that I think a lot of us guys and women probably yeah. find that certainly with the seasons changing, um, your lips are really sensitive. It's one of the first areas that you notice. Yeah, yeah. they get affected. Um, ever since I went on Roaccutane and I had such bad mm. lips mm -hmm. from that course, I have just evolved a huge collection of lip balms and lip care mm. stuff today we've got a couple of yeah. varied price range products um these are ones i actually had in my bag today i came yes. with like a full i love that you carry makeup. two <laughs> yeah i carry two yeah um, and kind of for different reasons the first one which is the more sort of basic and budget but i think is a really solid brand is carmex a lot of yeah. you will know about carmex but i also think in terms of packaging and branding it's not a brand that guys will think like that's for women like Carmex is just a really, really good one. I'd say it's super diverse. Mm. Yeah. It's fairly solid in terms yeah. of like the way you, you pop it on. Um, but also it's like, it's not really scented. I mean, it is slightly beeswaxy. Yeah. I, I, I it's absolutely quite love light, it. isn't it? Yeah, it's I think light. it's great. I think that's an industry standard lip balm. Yeah. And it's kind of thing you'll pick up in a super drug or yeah. like you get it everywhere. And in different ranges, right? And in different ranges, yeah. yeah. They've got like flavored ones, I think. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can get them in like a like a more of a jelly, sort yeah, of like yeah, sort of more like the Doctor Lip style, where you can squirt yeah, it. Yeah, what I don't I don't know this one. What is that? Uh, so Doctor Lips basically it's <laughs> it's nipple balm, but it is actually sold now for lips. Oh, okay. Um, so it's I think it says it for on like sports. Original nipple balm for lips. Okay, so, so like. I, from like Ann Summers or I don't know. Like, I've uh, not actually looked yeah. into this sort of history of this product, but I mean, you can put them on your nipples if you want. Might save you on the chafage. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it is for your lips. And I, again, I just like the texture, much mm. like the Carmex. It's just got a nice texture. Is this to the it. one that you constantly use? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I use a few. So yeah. um, Dr. Lips, one that I like because even though it's quite big, it's quite skinny, so mm. you can slip it in your pocket. It's not quite as bulky as the, yeah. the sort of like solid package yeah, yeah. lip balms. Um, but what I love about this is it's quite heavy. Mm. So when your lips are really bad, this is a product Dr. Lips certainly keeps them like very hydrated. And yeah. yeah, I would wear this before I went to bed a lot okay. and really lash yeah, it on. Yeah. As in, Carmex is something. It's a lot lighter. It's, More like day. Yeah. yeah. I suppose it's like a night cream then, isn't it? You Almost. Sort of just whack it on. And yeah. It's, yeah. So if you are somebody that's going through a period where your lips are really suffering, mm. going for something like the Dr. Lip, and I mean much like you've done, where you have a, a varied amount yeah. of, of, of lip yeah, care. Yeah. Um, you can wear them different times of the day. Yeah. My other one, which is more like sort of high end, is this brand called Dr. Harris. So I actually got this in one of those sort of uh, advent calendar things. Oh, and really? I was like, oh, what is this? And I just sort of jumped into it. It's a more sort of niche brand. It's a British brand. Yeah, I've not heard. But I really like it. It's The smell? Yeah. It's got a slight scent to it. I don't even yeah. know what you'd call it's that. It's nice. It smells clean. It's nice and clean. And yeah. that's kind of, yeah, it is. It's um. But I, I really like this. I find that it's super, uh, I was going to say super soaking, but get straight into your lips. You don't have, sometimes you get sort of, with I would say like cheaper lip bands, you yep. sort of get it sitting on your lips. You get those little white parts around yeah, here. Yeah, you don't and this one's, that. This one's straight in. And I, I just think, again, like lip care is something yeah. which is so underrated. And like you said earlier, it's very undiscussed. Yeah, totally. And that's why I love doing these videos because I find that in my circle of friends, mm. We don't really sit and talk about grooming together. No. Yeah, every single one of them does it. Does something, And yeah. it's a great way for us to t talk and chat and for mm. hopefully you guys to listen and see what we're using and what we're mm -hmm. loving. It's a nice way of introducing mm -hmm. a lip care, definitely not one that I've talked no, to no, about no. With, with the lads. Yeah. What I'll do actually is I've got some more suggestions for each category. Yeah. I'll give 
Maybe them. Maybe awesome. Like you pop them in the, we'll stick yeah. them in the description box. Lovely. Because these products that we have featured here today, they're just recommendations. So um, there will be products that are worse and products that are better. Uh, so we will do our best to list a few of those below so mm -hmm. you can sort of have a nice sort of range of these different five products. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that wraps up today's video nicely. It's been amazing having Robert Thank here. Thank you for having me. It's, it's been gorgeous yeah. and seeing your new home, which is very chic, I should say. Thank you very much. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I will be leaving Robin's channels, Instagram, YouTube, and all of that stuff down in the description box below. Um, if you want to check him out, it is Man For Himself. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do give it a thumbs up, and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.